Hi, I'm Mr. Pink, and today we're going to talk about How to Sculpt Miniatures Episode 2, all about putty. If you already watched Episode 1, all about sculpting tools, this one's going to be a little bit longer, where I more freestyle about green stuff and epoxy sculpt. Hope you enjoy it. Everyone should be pretty familiar these days with Nidatite green stuff. Well, people call it green stuff. Uh, Nidatite epoxy putty. It comes in blue and a yellow. You get a little blue, you get a little yellow, you mix them together, it makes green. If you're buying this stuff, please, for the love of God, buy the stuff that comes in two separate tubes. You can get this everywhere. If they don't sell at your model shop, go on eBay. This is the best way to buy green stuff. Because back in the day, when Games Workshop introduced us all to it, it came like this, which is great, except for you realize that this is a chemical reaction that happens. When you combine the yellow stuff and the blue stuff, it makes green stuff. So when you buy a ribbon of green stuff, which is like a common way to buy it, it comes mashed together in the middle. Unless you use it immediately, the stuff in the middle is trash. So I was, for years, trying to sculpt things with epoxy putty ribbon, and I hated it. Because this here has been green for a long time. So what you have to do is if you have this ribbon, this is the only stuff you, if you have it, you can still use it. I just would don't ever go and buy it again. But what you gotta do is you gotta cut out this middle part where they're touching and only use the parts that have not touched because this is fresh green stuff now. You mix these two together, you get green stuff. This is crusty garbage that you don't want to put anywhere near your models. Don't buy epoxy putty in ribbons. Buy it separate. The yellow and the blue is meant, were meant to be separate. So buy it in tubes like this, and then you can combine it as you like it. So, how does green stuff work? Well, it's very simple. The blue, you take the yellow and you mash them together. It's very sticky, so best thing to do is wet your hands with some water when you're mixing green stuff, because it will stick to your hands like crazy. But if they've got water on them, it'll only stick to itself. There you go, a lump of green stuff. If you're a real pro star and you want to take this to the next level, what you could add to your green stuff to make it a little smoother is a little bit of Fimosoft. Don't put any more than half Fimosoft because it will not cure properly. I don't know if this actually does anything. A very wise German told me to do it one time and as with most things a very wise German tells me to do, I did it unquestioningly. But really at this point, I don't know if it adds anything. But you can just mash it in there. It, kind of makes the green stuff a little smoother to work with. Green stuff in general is very sticky, which is good. It'll stick to your models unless you have oils on them. Um, you gotta be careful of that. If your green stuff's not sticking, you might have too much oil on your fingers or you might have too much oil on your model. I don't know how you manage that, but it's very, very sticky. If your green stuff's not sticky, it might be very old. Um, I don't think, green stuff does go bad after a while. It has a very long shelf life, but eventually it'll get crusty. Um, still usable, just not as smooth as normal. So yeah, always lubricate your tools when you're using it, lubricate your hands when you're touching it, or else it'll stick to you like crazy. So yeah, good things about green stuff, it stretches. See that? It's kind of silly putty-ish. So it's, it's rubberized or slightly rubberized. So when it's hard, it's not super hard. It's kind of um, rubbery. Not in a way that's going to hurt you, but slightly rubbery than other modeling clays. So it stretches, and that helps with sculpting because you can kind of stretch it into areas without it breaking. The other thing with green stuff is that you don't ever want to just like make an arm for a model and just kind of like stick it on and be like, yeah, that's awesome, that arm is going to be great. Because this stuff, like I said, it's rubbery. First of all, you leave this green stuff here. If I left this on time lapse, it would go. It's sticky but it's not very sturdy on its own um, what you want to do is you want to put wire armatures through it so get a thin piece of wire have that sticking out from the dude and then sculpt the arm onto the wire um, that'll help it stay up but otherwise very very good material to be using however when i sculpt i don't just use green stuff the only downside of green stuff is that it's expensive you go and you buy roughly this much green stuff, it's gonna cost you 20 bucks, 30 bucks. If you're sculpting something like Tyranid Scenery and you need something that's really big, that's a lot of green stuff. So, under the advice of, of a good friend by the name of Ed Forte and the further advice of Ross Nickel, um, good friend of mine, I went out and got this epoxy sculpt. 
And for only a bit more than you pay to get this, you get this much, four panels of epoxy sculpt for about 40 bucks, maybe 50. This stuff is brilliant. It looks like this, gray. Whereas Neat Tight is green stuff, epoxy sculpt is gray stuff or something like that. It looks, that looks really gross. This looks kind of like moon surface or something. Same thing, part A, part B, says it right on the jar. Part A, part B, mix them together like green stuff, you get epoxy sculpt. This part oxidizes in a weird way. See how that's gross? That is not a greasy kitchen. That is actually coming out of this material. You can see it oxidizing on the surface there. I don't think it really harms it. Um, I've had this stuff for a long time. If you really want, you can cut that crap off, but I use it, I don't care. It doesn't really affect me. This stuff never goes anywhere. It's always been like this. Um, if you want to store, giant things of it, you can store it in the freezer, but you don't have to use it in huge quantities, like that would imply. You can use it in small quantities, just like green stuff. So there's our green stuff. So I'm gonna get a similar amount of epoxy sculpt. So there's the part A, not so weird stuff. There's the part B, which gives off weird alien yellowness. Um, and then just like you would with green stuff, you take part A, part B, Mix them together. Not as sticky as green stuff, a little bit sticky. So you still want to use some um, lubricant to mix it. But you'll immediately notice it's got this silt that comes off of it. Um, kind of like if you were working with clay, like ceramic clay. Um, when you add water to that, there's a silt that comes off of it. I don't think it's toxic. I generally wash my hands after using it. Um, it is a benefit of epoxy sculpt this weird siltiness, because what you can do is you can, if you want a smoothie, you can put some water on it and kind of work up that siltiness. And it, it gives like a, a slick surface to it. Epoxy Sculpt is a tiny fraction bit water soluble, but not in any serious way. I think you can make like epoxy paste out of it, although I've never had the patience to try. And it comes out kind of gray white. It's still got that gross stuff on it, but don't worry about the gross stuff. That happens like immediately when you mix it and it kind of goes away. Um, I keep some water handy so that I can rinse my fingers. I also keep a towel handy so that I can wipe the crap off on the towel. In terms of green stuff versus epoxy sculpt, its texture is not as rubbery. Oh, look at that. And there's a the problem with green stuff. It sticks to everything. I'm just sitting there already welded itself to my hobby thing. All right, so let's get some water. Keep that from sticking too much. For epoxy sculpt, the texture is slightly closer to what you might be used to from plasticine. Um, it's not as hard or as dense, I guess, as green stuff. It will harden very hard, like this is machinable. You can, you can drill it, it's, you can sand it. It gets kind of flaky um, if you're if you're putting it under duress, but it is stronger than you'd expect because it's not as, it doesn't feel as dense as the green stuff. You can sculpt out of just this. A comparison between green stuff and epoxy sculpt. Green stuff is the de facto champion of model making, has been for years, everyone sculpts in green stuff, blah, blah, blah. It does take detail very well. You can get sharp angles very easily in green stuff. Um, I don't feel like it's as easy to get sharp angles in epoxy sculpt. Um, you can do it. It's easier once it's set for a while the kind of texture of it changes slightly. It's easier to get a sharp angle once it's set. Both of them you can um, polish with water or with um, hand cream, which is the lubricant of choice. So both of them can have a very smooth surface. Um, green stuff is more rubberized. It's stretchy, you can see there. Epoxy Sculpt does not stretch. It breaks, kind of what you'd expect from plasticine. Um, so green stuff is very stretchy, much easier to paint green stuff into corners and stuff like that, stretch it over models. Um, also easier to smooth green stuff across surfaces to mesh with models. This doesn't do that so well. However, this is way stronger than green stuff. Um, if you make an armature out of green stuff, like a long thing like this, first of all, that's gonna droop, gonna droop, gonna droop, gonna sag, gonna sag. Also, if you let it harden, that would break very easily. Um, it's it's rubbery, so it would it would bend a little bit, and then it would just snap right there. This is slightly stronger. It will break. It's not like a, a super material or anything like that. A 
Epoxy sculpt will hold a shape that you put it in. It doesn't sag. It might do it minutely, but it doesn't sag nearly as quickly as green stuff does. So it would hold that shape. And it would take, I think it would take way more force to be able to break this than it would to be able to break the equivalent amount of green stuff. Um, but when it breaks, it breaks. And it'll, it's almost like, not a shatter, but it, it's, it's harder. It's a harder material where this is more rubbery. If I had to choose between the two, green stuff is really good for doing um, miniatures and sculpting small things that need a lot of detail. Epoxy Sculpt is without compare for doing large things, huge scenery, stuff like that. However, why should you have to choose between them? Why not have the best of both worlds? That's right, kids. You can mix green stuff and Epoxy Sculpt together. And what you wind up with is literally a hybrid of the two. You get the strength of Epoxy Sculpt, you get the malleability of green stuff, um, the stretchiness, the rubberized, a little bit of the rubberizedness with the, the strength of the epoxy sculpt. Um, and all of a sudden, your green stuff is going twice as far because you're cutting it with epoxy sculpt. You can paint it into corners like you would with green stuff. There is literally no downside to mixing green stuff and epoxy sculpt. Um, it does both what the green stuff does and what the epoxy sculpt does without losing anything. So everyone should be sculpting with epoxy green or I don't know, epoxy stuff, or whatever you want to call it. You can see it goes together very smoothly. Um, it still has a little bit of that siltiness of the epoxy sculpt, but that goes away. And you get kind of this light green color compared to that. I cannot say enough good things about this. I, Hydra taught me to do this. I don't know if he invented it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame him for it. And I have never looked back. Everything I sculpt these days, though it looks like it's sculpted from green stuff, it's actually sculpted from this, this epoxy green. If you're spreading green stuff across uh, a surface, it'll stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and just kind of blend into the model. If you're spreading epoxy sculpt across the surface, it'll stretch for a bit, but then it'll start to break and it won't blend into the model quite so well. Green stuff is expensive, epoxy, stu epoxy sculpt is cheap um, and plentiful, you get tons of this stuff. Green stuff is elastic, epoxy sculpt is not as elastic. Stronger though, whereas green stuff is rubberized and kind of tears, breaks more easily than epoxy sculpt. But really, just use them both together. Don't bother using them separately. They're so much better when you combine them. Like when I first started sculpting with um, epoxy sculpt, I wasn't really sure about it, and I kind of I wasn't confident in its abilities. So I'd use it to do an underlayer, and then I would sculpt on the details with green stuff. That was a waste of time. I could have sculpted details into epoxy sculpt. It can take detail but this epoxy green stuff is even better at it. So the only thing that I would fault epoxy sculpt for when I'm comparing epoxy sculpt and green stuff is that epoxy sculpt is not as sticky as green stuff, which seems like it might be good until you try and make it adhere to a wire frame if you're making like a wire armature and you're sculpting on top of it. Green stuff sticks to that like crazy. Epoxy sculpt does not, which makes me sad. But that's the only problem I can find with epoxy sculpt. Except for like if you're doing really microscopic details, you might be able to do them slightly better in green stuff than you can in epoxy sculpt because this yields as soon as you touch it, whereas this you gotta give it a little more force. But other than that, this stuff is amazing and when you combine them together, it's like nothing else. Once you mix green stuff, it's pretty much the same um, consistency or texture throughout the curing process. Once you mix epoxy sculpt, it starts to change very microscopically. Like when you first combine the two parts, Epoxy Sculpt is very soft, um, and you'll find that it's very plasticine and it won't take details that well. However, like I kind of mentioned before, as it cures for longer, the Epoxy Sculpt can take detail better. Ed Forte got me into using Epoxy Sculpt, got us all into using Epoxy Sculpt. He would wait 20 minutes after mixing it before he started sculpting anything into it. He claims that if you wait 20 minutes, it sorts out its consistency issues and it's a little more reliable. I'd say just try it yourself. I don't mind. Especially when you mix it with this stuff, it, you can go to town on it right away. Um, in terms of curing time, I haven't really done a curing time test on the two of them to see which one cures faster than the other, if there's if they're comparable. I feel like it's comparable. Epoxy Sculpt might cure slightly less quickly than green stuff, but that's just because I've used this to sculpt massive things and I've tried to sculpt way too much detail in a one session and it's, it's worked out. If I had to flee the planet. I kind of do this with the, the tools. But if I had to flee the planet and I could take one tool, I'd take this tool. I can't really decide which one of these I'd take. Um, if I had to choose between green stuff and epoxy sculpt, um, epoxy sculpt I think is more forgiving, but that's probably just because you get more of it. So if you screw up, you throw it away, you get a new one. Um, green stuff, if you're sculpting small things, I would take green stuff. If you're sculpting large things, I would take epoxy sculpt. 
but really, if I was fleeing, I would take enough to make them together because this is just amazing. And this is what I want to sculpt with always. You should just use epoxy sculpt and green stuff together and you'll be very happy. Once again, this is Mr. Pink from the blog Modern Synthesis, and it's been my pleasure to guide you through using epoxy putty and green stuff. I'd like to apologize if these videos have seemed a bit rambly or random. I recorded them a while back, but I'm just getting around to editing them now, so once we get through the kind of backlog of videos that complement my original four How to Sculpt articles, we'll get into a little more interesting format. Please stick with me till then. Next time, we're going to be talking about the different techniques that you can do with your putties. Anything like that, but if you were to make it out of epoxy sculpt, it would hold this shape whereas the green stuff would gradually start to sag. Why am I sculpting penises?